Now, uh, what Derrida says that from structuralism, he has got no problem with sign and signifier. वो कहता है कि मुझे साइन और सिग्निफायर से कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है साइन एंड सिग्निफायर आर ओके साइन इज से फॉर एग्जांपल सी ए टी आई सेड इन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर नाउ लेट्स टेक हियर एन एग्जांपल ऑफ रोज ही सेज वी हैव अ साइन आर ओ एस ई नाउ दैट्स अ साइन एंड रोज अटर्ड एज अ साउंड टुगेदर बिकम्स अ सिग्निफायर बट देन व्हाट अबाउट सिग्निफाइड If we utter rose in front of ten people, would all the people think about a rose? Derrida says no. There would be a person who would think about a red rose. There would be another person who would think about white rose. There would be another person who would think about the wild rose. There would be another person who would think about the thorns in a rose. Say, for example, there would be a fourth person who would think about Rose, which is the name of his sister. Say, for example, there would be another person who has just read a novel, and in that novel there was a uh, an actress or a female character named as Rose. There would be another person who had just watched a movie, and in that movie there was a heroine who was named as Rose. There would be another person who would think about Rose Water. So what Derrida says that when you utter this Rose. it does not lead to rose it leads multiply the signifier there is no one signifier so concluding it what derrida says he says that language has got two important characteristics one is you know there is a defer in meaning you know it defers the meaning it delays the meaning and the other is that the meaning is always understood in difference to other words what does this mean this means for example red gets meaning in opposite to blue in opposite to black so there are two important aspects of a language one it defers the meaning two the meaning is lies in difference so what derrida does he joins the french words to defer and to differ and coins a new term and calls it difference and replaces signified with difference and difference would mean delay the meaning so no you reach signifier and after signifiers let them play for example let there be red rose let there be white rose let there be uh, you know multicolored rose let there be white rose let there be rose a girl let there be rose a character in novel let there be rose a heroine let there be rose water let there be rose petal let there be thorns in a rose let it be anything but don't say that rose means a rose let there be difference now delay the meaning and then uh, he defines or this is how he says that this is how language should and should uh, function in our society not like the not, not like structuralism where sign signifier and signified but now we have sign signifier and difference he says what is the meaning of a word or where does the meaning of a word lie derrida says that meaning of a word lies in trace so he coins a term called trace he says that the meaning is all about the mental trace of a word or of a signifier now what is trace trace uh, is the difference are the different signifiers are the signifier which a word is not let me give an example to understand this we have rose Uh, say for example we have red again i will give an example of red now say for example we have red word so signifier is red sign is r e d and signifier is red now what is trace trace is what red is not red is not blue red is not green red is not black red is not blue say for example so what the signifier is not is the trace so when we have these traces in our mind and we say red so red would always come in in contrast to these things that is blue black uh, green white and then we have red so that is trace then derrida asks a question or we can ask a question derrida 
if language is so unstable so unreliable why should then we use language as a means of communication derrida says because we do not have another mode of communication if we do not have another mode of communication another means of communication the only way that we have a uh, at our hands a method a way of communication is language so we must use it but when we are using this unreliable unstable way of communication we should uh, focus that we stretch it we play with it we should not keep it like the structuralists do theek hai bhai language unreliable hai unstable hai fir bhi hum isko kahenge ye stable hai ye reliable hai hum usko waise use karenge derrida kehta hai humko aisa nahi karna chahiye we should stretch it to fit into new moods and new, new imagination and that he calls as bicolage the activity of stretching this language into new moods into new designs into new fashions into new meanings he calls it bicolage but then there is a problem what would we what would we do with the words say for example we have read ab is read ke sath hum kya karenge ke jisse ye naya dikhe iske sath hum khelenge isko kuch alag tarah se karenge even derrida was not having uh, any new idea about this so he coined a term and title that under eraser he said that this activity of playing with the words or using a word in a new way would be under eraser now how does this work say for example he would write a ro uh, word rose which is a signifier and then he puts a cross over it and this putting a cross over it he says is a uh, using an old word in a new way now that is deconstruction so what deconstruction does it destabilizes everything it destabilizes structure at the very beginning it would deconstruct the structure as a whole fine and uh, here what we dealt with in particular was deconstructing language what derrida did he deconstructed language which was constructed by ferdinand de saussure and he said that language is a very unreliable kind of a thing now by deconstructing language he would deconstruct everything because language would construct everything now uh, it would deconstruct poetry it would deconstruct novel it would deconstruct ideology it would deconstruct myths it would deconstruct society it would deconstruct relationships it would deconstruct everything there would be no comprehensive whole or structure in this world what we dealt with in this lecture was the general fundamentals of deconstruction what is deconstruction and how does it work and how does deconstruction deconstruct the language and in the same manner it would be deconstructing the ideologies the societies and other things uh, that is all we have at your academy uh, in today's lecture i hope that this lecture was helpful for you and you were able to understand the deconstruction theory by jack steerida and others thank you for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe your academy for more interesting stuff keep watching your academy